I'm Kitty. And I'm Jennifer. And we're the O'Neill Sisters. And we're going to show you how to decoupage a tray using Mod Podge. We love to decoupage because it's super fun and super easy. Let's get started. For this decoupage project, we're using Mod Podge. And this is the same Mod Podge we used when we were kids. We're using gloss, which is kind of the basic standard regular Mod Podge. And to apply it, we have a fine bristle paintbrush. This is going to leave a little bit of brush marks in the Mod Podge, which we like. But if you don't want any brush marks in your Mod Podge, you could use a foam paintbrush. We're going to decoupage some scrapbook paper. And we chose scrapbook paper because it works really well with Mod Podge. Mod Podge is water-based, so whatever paper you choose, just make sure it's color fast so that the colors don't bleed. Yes. And to cut out our scrap of paper, we have a fine pair of scissors. Yes. And then after the Mod Podge is dry, we want to seal it so we have some spray sealer. So this is the tray that we're going to decoupage the roses on. And this is a wooden tray. We painted it with acrylic craft paint and we put down this little checkerboard pattern and now we're going to put on the roses. So the paper that we chose, you can see it just looks kind of like wallpaper. It's scrap of paper that has great big roses on it. And the roses themselves aren't very defined. You know, they are in certain places, but not everywhere. Doesn't matter, we're just gonna cut out each rose um, based on what the, you know, by following the color outline. Yes. This little rose here is nice and black around the edges, so we'll be able to cut it out easily. That one's easier to see. Yeah, and I'm using these tiny little fine scissors. Some people like to use manicure scissors, yeah. um, but I like that you can get in these little corners easily. And a little trick with cutting that we like to do is actually holding the, we hold the scissors straight and then kind of rotate the paper. Yeah. It makes it easy to get around the curves and things. Yeah. It's all about getting the right angle on it. So turn it when you need to and. Exactly. Yeah. And this tray will take about, I don't know, was it 12 or. Yeah. Something like that. Roses and we're just going to space them out. So we're going to cut out some pink ones, some red ones, some big, some small, so we can have a little variety on the tray. Yeah, it's nice to have a little assortment. Yes. And the scrapbook paper um, section of the craft store is just loaded with yes. gorgeous pattern papers that are great for decoupage. This, we were kind of inspired by Mackenzie Childs to do this checkerboard look and then put these roses on it. And we painted the checkerboard. We could paint the roses, but these roses are so pretty. And decoupage is so fun and easy, so much easier to cut out the roses. Absolutely. So we have a lot of them cut out already. Here we'll show you how to decoupage, or Mod Podge, now that it's a verb, we can just call it Mod Podge. That's right. The roses onto the tray. So I'm going to take... You want to do the red one first? I'll do the red one first, because we thought that that would look good in this corner over here. It really and pops against that checkerboard. It looks really good, doesn't it? So this is our Mod Podge, and I just... Uh, I don't get the paintbrush wet first. Mm -hmm. So some people do mix the Mod Podge with a little water or dampen the paintbrush. Never thought of it, mm -hmm. never tried it, never needed to. So I'm just using the Mod Podge straight out of the container. And I'm using maybe a little bit more than you might think you would. Uh, better to use a little too much than not enough. And basically I'm just going to paint the back of the rose with a good coat. Let me get a little extra. Yeah, using a little a little more than you would think will help um, make sure you don't get any wrinkles. Yes. We never have any problems with wrinkles. No. So, and this is a good so technique. I'm going to just set it down how we want it here. Press it down. And then the thing that makes it decoupage and not just gluing things down is that you go right over the top with another coat of Mod Podge. It looks scary like you're wrecking it, but it will you're dry not, it clear. It dries clear always. There might be a little bit of brush marks, but like we said, we like the brush marks. And... When we're done with everything, we'll make sure there's one whole coat of Mod Podge on everything. So it's not like this doesn't have Mod Podge and this does. Right. There'll be Mod Podge on everything. That one is all set. I can do the pink one. Yeah, let's Where's do the, the pink, pink one? one. Here we go. It was hiding under the Mod it Podge. It was hiding. So again, I'm going to get a little bit more than you think you need. Yep. Because it'll just squish out the sides. And you can, some people use like a brayer or like they'll uh, rub it down with something. Mm -hmm. I usually just use clean fingers. You wanna make sure you don't have like smudgy newspaper fingers or something. Yeah, you, you'll wanna rinse your hands periodically yeah. if you're doing a lot of Mod Podging at once because you can get kind of a built up. Yeah, built up smudgies on your hands. Smudgies. And built up Mod Podge. And then I'm just gonna paint over the top of that. 
and that really is going to dry clear and we're just going to continue on with our little roses arranging them putting the Mod Podge on the back adhering them and putting a coat of Mod Podge on the top then when that's dry we'll just do a, a coat across the whole thing that'll make it look really unified yes too. exactly We finished Mod Podging all of the roses to the tray, and once the roses dried, we painted a coat of Mod Podge over the whole thing to give it a unified look. And because we're going to use the tray as a serving tray, and it'll have hot items and cold items, we wanted to make sure it had a good seal on it. So we waited 24 hours, and then we spray painted the whole thing with clear acrylic sealer. We think it turned out great, and we hope your decoupage projects turn out great too.